What's up all my Ewok Shibbles droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and in today's video, I'm going to be transforming into Princess Leia from Star Wars A New Hope. Now, if you guys are familiar with my channel and my content, then you guys probably already know this, and if you aren't, then this is going to be news for you. So why am I doing this whole transformation process? Well, I decided for my birthday slash Halloween, I wanted to be rogue for the entire month of October, so I went and I did a whole whole transformation, got my hair done, got the costume, went all out, and I did a couple live streams where I was featured, you know, completely in my whole rogue getup, and people said, Anna, you should do a cosplay calendar. So, I listened to the audience, and I gave them, or you guys, exactly what you wanted. So that calendar is live now on Indiegogo. The link is the very first link in the description of this video. And so Princess Leia, this look that I'm going to be doing for Princess Leia, is going to be one of the cosplays that is featured in this calendar. So if you guys want to spend the entire year of 2022 with me, the way to do that is to back that calendar, and if you want to been an entire month of 2022 with Princess Leia, that is the way to do it. So go ahead, click the link in the description of the video and go back that calendar right now. And also, if you guys haven't already, maybe take a minute and smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, make sure that that bell is set to all. That way you actually get notifications when I do videos and live streams, and that way you don't miss another transformation video. So, now that that's all out of the way, let's get into what is going to go into this whole transformation. Obviously, I don't look very much like Leia right now. I'm going to have to obviously do the iconic hair. I have the white dress hanging up behind me. I have the belt that goes with it and the boots and then the blaster. But because this is YouTube, I am using YouTube overlords. A child's cost Halloween costume prop. This is not real. This is a child's cosplay or cost Halloween costume toy. It's not real. It's not real. Obviously, you can tell by the color. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go spray paint this black so that way it matches the look and, you know, the actual blaster that she used in the film. And then I'm going to come back in here while this is drying. I'm going to change my face to make it look like Leia, or at least as close that I can get. Then I'll do my hair. We'll take a look at how this is dried, and then we'll put the entire thing on and do a final reveal. So, with that being said, let's go outside and start painting this child's toy costume prop thing. <laughs> We have uh, the child's toy Halloween prop drying outside. Let's get into the makeup. Now I have a couple images right here of the look off to the side for reference. And as you guys can see, if you like really zoom in, Leia actually has like pink 
uh, eyeshadow on and she doesn't really have too much eyeliner on the top lid it's mostly just on the bottom I think that was to give the illusion that her eyes were a little bit bigger so I'm gonna do that that look does not look good on me so just a warning and uh, her lip color is a little bit orangey uh, pink like a I don't know, maybe a peachy color, I should say. And then, of course, she's got uh, just a lot of blush right here on the cheeks, which uh, Carrie Fisher pointed out many, many times that the hair and the makeup uh, only enhanced the roundness of her cheeks and didn't really do much for her. And George is like, eh, it doesn't matter. This, I wanted you to stand out. And she's like, you don't put big buns on an already round face, George. <laughs> uh, which is funny when you actually go and watch, you know, some of those uh, little clips of her yeah, giving I mean. George Shit. It's me. <laughs> in, the, in the weird dress and the hairstyle. Yeah, I've always wanted to have that hairstyle. You tortured me with that hairstyle. I, I was know, too frightened I that you know. were going to fire me. You said, Did you, do you like it? What do you think? You said. <laughs> and I said, it's, it's really okay. nice. It's really yeah. nice. Well, um, that hairdo was designed to be noticed. And, oh, it, and it was good. noticed. <laughs> that was the point. That was, uh, you don't put a wider hairstyle on I'm, an already wide I'm, face. You put the hair like here. This, and it would have been noticed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. uh, but so I have a couple of these little pink eyeshadow palettes here. Uh, this is from Morphe. This one is, you know, very bold pinks. And then this one is a little bit more muted with like glitter and stuff. So I'm going to try it out and see which one looks the best. So that being said, uh, let's take off the current makeup that I have and let's time lapse this look. <laughs> All right, so now I think the makeup is kind of done. I hate this. <laughs> I think it looks terrible on me, but again, we're doing the Princess Leia makeup. This is the way that it's done for her. So uh, now that that's kind of done, the, the lip, I honestly just use lip liner instead of like lipstick and I put, uh, you know, lip gloss over it. It is a little bit more orange like it is in the pictures. Uh, in person, on camera, it's coming up a little bit different, so bear with me on that. I think I tried doing my eyebrows a little bit arched. Hers are obviously very thin. I have thick eyebrows, can't really do anything about that. But I gave it a little bit of that fake arch to kind of match. So I think it's it's pretty good. I still want to look like me. I'm just doing the makeup like Princess Leia. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing now. Or that's what we did just now ish ah uh, words <laughs> but uh now that the makeup is done let's uh start on the hair getting into this hair so i have a few photos off to the side just to show a front view of the buns and then of course the side view now when i was a kid we used to say you know she had cinnamon rolls on her head um which obviously by this side view you it, it really does look like a cinnamon roll but uh i'm gonna try to do it like this as best i can and make it as flat as possible i hate it when people just have like they stick out like this far so we're not gonna do that we're gonna try to make them as flat as she has right there and so they kind of start up here and then end at her chin so how i'm gonna do this is i'm obviously gonna you know put my hair up in little pigtails and go so i 
ran over to a few different places. I ran over to Claire's and got these like little mini buns. And then I got, you know, these little, I tried to just see if there was like, uh, you know, buns that you can just put over your ponytail, uh, which they make. Uh, Claire's didn't have any of that. So I just got like, these were the the hair that they had. I'm gonna try and see if that works. And then I went on Amazon and I got, these are like ponytail things. I haven't even opened these to see uh, how they would work. Um, so that was a mission and a half just to get this out. I actually, uh, it comes with a hair tie and bobby pins, which is nice. So I just kind of got these ponytail, like these long ponytails so I can wrap it around like she obviously has right there in in the reference photo. So I got two of these. These are very different browns, but uh, when I go and get, you know, it professionally photographed, I'll just, you know, do a color correction later, which is, of course, how this is going to get color corrected as well. So now that I've shown you guys everything that I'm going to be using, let's, uh, you know, just kind of time lapse it and get right into this. So here we go. <laughs> So that didn't really work out. These did the exact opposite effect, which is make it all big. And so what I did, because I re that really wasn't working out, was I took these uh, hair extensions and I ponytailed up at the top. That way I can pin it. And I ponytailed down at the bottom. And then I have a better game plan now that I tried this. So I'm just going to make my real hair as tight, like make it as a small and as flat as a bun as possible and then I'm gonna go over it with these ones and bun that up and then go around it with these to try to create that Princess Leia look. So let's try this again! <laughs> All right, so after that hell, I kind of got it. <laughs> I can't see the way it looks right now, but you know what? It covers the amount that I want it to cover up, and uh, it does the trick. I can just Photoshop whatever. It doesn't look very good. I'm actually going to have my friend uh, to help me before the photo shoot, so it'll look immaculate when it's actually done. But right now for this video, I think this works, so uh, let's do the other side. I don't know how long this is gonna last so we're gonna uh, we're gonna speed things up a bit so you know I got the hair done I uh, got the makeup done like I said before my friend is gonna be here before the photo shoot to help me put this all up so it's actually gonna look good when I photograph it right now this is just uh, me trying to do this my little itty bitty self but uh now that all of this is done let's go check on the blaster and uh then get ready for a final reveal so let's do this 
All right, everyone. Well, I have my hair done. I have my makeup done. Unfortunately, the blaster did not make it. The paint would not stick and it just became this mess. And I don't know why, because the Padme blaster was just, it, it was pretty perfect. It, I just sprayed it and it, it stuck and ev everything worked seamlessly. And for whatever reason, this one, it just, it turned into a mess. So I actually am going to probably have to order another one and redo everything from scratch. And, you know, I, it has all these intricate details, so I don't know how I'm going to sand it. But we're just going to have to do that one over. And I really didn't want to throw away this, like, hair and makeup. So uh, I just decided, hey, you know what? Maybe this is the part of the movie where she got uh, her blaster taken. And now she's, you know, got to escape the Death Star with Luke and Han Solo. So, again, I got my hair done. I got my makeup done. I have the dress behind me. We are going to be using these wonderful boots again. And yes, I know Princess Leia wasn't technically wearing heels, but they make my legs look great. So we're going with fashion uh, over that. So now we got everything. Let's do a full final reveal. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's me, that Star Wars girl, as Princess Leia. <laughs> now, I know this costume is a little bit different than the one that she had in the movie. This, again, is one that I've had for years. And believe it or not, I actually wore this to high school every Star Wars day. I'm not kidding. And I like this one because it's a little bit more sexy. And uh, it has this, like, nice slit up the leg. And then you guys can, of course, see, like, my boots. Ah, let me get over here so you guys can actually see it. Uh, so, yeah, this is more of, a, like, a sexy Princess Leia. And I think it's a little bit more flattering. I have tried the, you know, OG one on. And let me tell you, it doesn't do much for me. So I like this one. If you guys don't, that's fine. I, I, this is just what I like. And uh, this belt, I think, you know, it works great as compared to the one that comes with the other costume. Uh, the only thing is, it's supposed to be like one size fits all, but I do have to uh, pin it with bobby pins. Uh, because it is too big, because one size fits all is a complete lie. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Look, I'm Princess Leia. The hair is not doing what I wanted, and of course it sucks that the bl oh, now actually, right there. Now it's perfect. <laughs> I, it sucks about what happened with the blaster, but I think that this look, the thing that makes it pop, of course, is the buns and, you know, the iconic Leia Organa from, or Princess Leia Organa from the first film. Now, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way that it turned out. I feel like out of everything I've dressed up as, you know, in my entire life, it's probably been, the number one thing has probably been Princess Leia. And, you know, when I was a little kid, you got to do the buns, you got to get the white dress and the belt and the blaster, or in my case, a bag full of candy because it was Halloween. Let's be realistic. And then, of course, in high school on Star Wars Day, I would always dress up like Princess Leia. Hence, you know, everyone called me that weird Star Wars girl. And so, now I have it. I, I don't know why. It just... I feel comfortable in this. I feel more comfortable like this than in regular clothes. That's just me. But uh, I like it. I like it so much. And I, I think it looks good. <laughs> now, of course, as other Star Wars characters that I've cosplayed as now for this calendar has been Padme Amidala, who is uh, Princess Leia's mother. And now, of course, I'm dressed like Princess Leia. And everyone is like, Anna, it's General Leia now. It's like, you do realize that a princess outranks a general. So all of those feminazis that lose their mind, it's like, she's a general now. Ah! I'm like, yeah, she, so you gave her a demotion? Congratulations, you just demoted a woman. Congratulations, are you guys happy with yourselves? But for whatever reason, they think princess is a negative connotation. It's like, look at what Princess Leia did. She got kidnapped by the freaking Empire. She got tortured by Darth Vader. She stood there and watched her planet get destroyed. And she didn't even crack! Like, come on, that... Respect in and of itself, all these feminazis that haven't watched a freaking movie, that don't, you don't understand female empowerment, it's like, go watch Princess Leia in A New Hope and go see all the shit that she goes through. And then the next movie, Empire Strikes Back, people are like, well, Princess Leia doesn't really do much, she just falls in love with Han Solo. It's like, you don't understand that she closed herself off from, you know, getting attachments, because again, she watched her planet get destroyed with every, like, her whole family get destroyed. She didn't know that Luke was her brother yet, and so... 
whole Empire Strikes Back is Han Solo trying to, you know, get her to come to terms with her feelings because he knows she loves him, she knows she loves him, but she won't admit it to herself. So finally, at the end of Empire Strikes Back, when she's like, I love you, and he's like, I know, it was finally that moment where she's able to, you know, come to terms with her feelings and stop being so closed off and detached from, you know, herself. And it's a great moment. She has a character arc. Luke has a character arc. Darth Vader does too. It's, oh, Empire Strikes Back is such a great movie. <laughs> but I digress. Now, I had to do that rant as Princess Leia. Come on. So, that's one of the reasons why. If everyone asks me, they're like, Anna, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? And I'm like, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, hands down. And I mean, it's a great movie. I could go on forever about how much I love that movie. But uh, maybe in the future, I'll be wearing uh, that getup of Princess Leia in Empire Strikes Back. But right now, we're going in order. So I'm wearing her first iconic look that she had in A New Hope. Her only costume, well actually she had the change at the end. I would love to have that dress, but uh, unfortunately that one is kind of hard to find. So maybe in the future I will cosplay as her. Uh, the end scene where, you know, they're doing the award ceremony. Maybe I'll do that one day. But as for right now, I'm just going with the classic, iconic Princess Leia, and I love it. I think the way that I'm going to pose for this in the calendar, which you guys haven't backed yet, I hope that this was able to convince you. Again, the link is the very first one in the description of this video, and you guys can go check that out. You guys can see me as Padme and as Princess Leia, and maybe in the future, because I am that Star Wars girl, and I still have quite a few cosplays left to do transformation into, maybe you'll see since I did... Padme, Leia, you see the trend here? You got mother, you got daughter, Princess Leia, some books, she had a couple kids. Maybe, maybe you might see that in the future. <laughs> but uh, if you guys want to see that in the future and stay tuned and see what Star Wars character I do next and what cosplay I reveal next, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all that way you actually get notifications when I do videos and live streams. My channel is shadow banned, so helping uh, me get out of that, if, if you guys could please share this video on social media and, you know, that any little bit helps there because the YouTube over lords are like, ah, suppress that Star Wars girl. I'm like, but why? I'm just having fun and stating my opinions, but it is what it is. So anyway, to help get me out of that shadow ban is just by all of you, doesn't matter how big or small or, you know, if you don't do social media that often, every single share helps me and the algorithm. So if you guys could please share this video, like, leave a comment, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, all that. It really does help me in my and my channel, and you guys, I guess, can, you know, help me, like Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> but anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and may the Force be with you, because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Once again, thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my channel and my content. And I have a really exciting project that's live right now on Indiegogo. Due to requests from those of you in the chat that have been watching for a long time, I did a whole transformation video on going rogue for Halloween this year. And some people suggested, hey, Anna, you should do a calendar. So I did. It's live now on Indiegogo. The link is in the description of this video. G click it. Go check it out. See the tiers that I have available and thank you very much everyone. I also have an Etsy where I sell prints of my original artwork like oil paintings and drawings of various characters. So go check it out. Link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much everyone. Have a great rest of your day.